going in. And exhale. And let's review double stabbing flower. Surin Chapa. I love that you guys know so many forms now. You guys have been helping preserve our style. From the side view, I'm here, right forward, crane stance, then jump switch to the other side. I want to make sure I keep my balance, and then slowly extend that leg into that collapsing stance. So common thing is that as they go out, they tend to fall into it. So you want to try to bend this leg and try to keep your balance as best you can. The slower you can go, the better. The more focused you are at trying to develop your balance, then the easier your body will learn the skill set. So here I'm just focusing on the hands, I'm grabbing and pushing down. I can have my wrist up or down, it's up to you. For me, I like to push downwards since that's our lineage. So grab and here. But the main focus is this grab right over here. So I imagine someone's punching my face, I wanna grab and then push straight down. And yep, E, yep, E. Now we'll practice the full thing. So right foot forward and then we're gonna be hopping grab into that clasp stance. And then left side, hop, grab into that clasp stance. So we should be go, able to go from side to side. So on this side, grab here, then the other side, grab and here. Yep. E. Some. Say. Tiu is glance. Tong means um, to strike directly to the face. So punching right to the face. So tiu tong choi. Choi just means fist. So tiu tong choi. That's um, how you normally you'd say reverse punch. So if you ever hear tiu tong, that means this block and this punch. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll work on just getting this tiu to go up past the ear and then trying to get that to the waist. Common thing that I see is it kind of like gets stuck here and then it goes to the waist. You want to try to get it into a circular motion. So glance up and then back to the waist cleanly as opposed to kind of like a weird transformer arm. You don't want too many weird sharp angles. So just that glance. And then add that reverse punch. So two tong. Another common thing I see is that that two doesn't go high enough. So it's like a small, tiny glancing block. So they'll still get popped in the face. And yep. E. Some. Say. We're gonna work on the transition from the collapsing stance. We just did the double grappling punch. And so I gotta figure out while well, I'm in here and then I have to shift my weight into a left forward stance to Tong Choi. So I'm down here, my left hand has to glance up and then I strike. So my right hand is gonna to go towards the waist and then as I fire, then it goes out. So I gotta coordinate both of them with this one, it's difficult because since I'm turning, my left hand has a tendency of doing an outside block. So I gotta figure out how can I switch, but do a two. So from the classic stance, two, then Tong Choi. Make sure you look at your target. See that punch flying at your face and you gotta do a glancing block first. Surprisingly, just looking at our target will solve a lot of problems. And yep. Back to classic stance, E. Yep. So we'll just isolate that one specifically. Remember, it's the same circle that we do when we do a Du Sao. So circle, 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 and then grab pluck. But this time when we circle, we're grabbing here. So instead of a regular, like I'm shaking someone's hand, I'm gonna bend it forward and I'm gonna curl my fingers in and my thumb in. And so I'm grabbing just like that. So I'm gonna circle, then grab in a downward motion. We want that circle to be as wide as we can. So from the front view, I'm going as close to my body as I can, almost as if I'm gonna hit my own chin, and then grab out in front. So full circle, then grab. So sometimes the circle might be a little small, or just using the wrist, you wanna to try to get that elbow to go fully around, and then grab. Now we'll add the technique, left foot forward, and we're starting off in the reverse punch, so right fist is out. I'm just gonna do a circle, grab downwards, and then I'm gonna pull that to a fist as I do a toe kick and a palm strike. So again, I'm in a reverse punch here, circle grab, then pull and toe kick. Why don't we add the straight punch into the palm as well? So I'm here in that reverse punch, circle grab, toe kick, and then I'm gonna step back and straight punch. So I do wanna punch through the palm and make sure that left hand goes to my right side. So again, 
two tong choy, circle, toe kick, step back, straight punch. So I'm gonna end up in the left forward stance and left hand by my right side. Reverse punch, circle grab, cross kick, punch. Nice. For the reverse punch, circle grab, cross kick, step back, punch. We'll work on fan che into Tiger Steals a Heart. So that one's actually a very important technique. Remember the fan che, um, we want more of the shoulders. So swinging right arm and left fist. Um, less of a, don't think so much of like a hammer fist strike or a throwing, it's gonna be more of a swing, like a big arching swing. But I wanna think of doing two step slides. So here, one and then two into Tiger Steals of Heart. So I wanna travel quite a bit. I'm gonna go one, two, so that has to be quick. Again, I'm here, one, two. Okay, so constantly driving forward. If I'm going forward, one, two. So that right hand will go to the waist as I drill straight out. I hear a black tiger trying to get through the door right now. Okay, so let's give that a try. <laughs> I just see a paw from underneath the door right now. White paw. So, getting ready. And yep. E. Some. Say. Knee and palm. Bam. Then drop and kick. And then two. Tong Choi, circle grab, cross kick, punch, skim, grappling punch, clear, Tai San La Ting, hot thrusting kick, Tai San La Ting, then circle, stomp the right foot, strike, then knee breaking, right elbow, back fist, then find your target first, Ban Che, Tiger Chizong. Good job today. So sit, salute, and by the school. Very humorous fast. And class miss. Great job, you guys.